Hey, my name is Joe Gilder from Personas, and I want to talk to you about a feature today that I didn't use up until recently, and I loved it. So this is specifically for you if you are a Personas Sphere member or if you're thinking about joining. So Personas Sphere, if you're not familiar with that, is a monthly membership that gets you Studio One Professional, Notion, and essentially all the Studio One add-ons that we make, that we sell in our shop, um, things like the fat Fat Channel Collection, VT1, RC500, um, more Empire guitar amp models, uh, what else? A bunch of the Mix Effects engine uh, consoles. It's just a ton of stuff. Very, very cool. But one of the features I'd never used before was this. So let me show you real quickly. So in um, when you have a Sphere membership, it's activated here. So you have the same installer you've always had for Studio One. But then you come in here and you activate it with Persona Sphere. So if you're connected to the internet, it will go. You enter your password and it connects you. Then the next thing you'll be able to do is to come over here to installation and you can choose what stuff you want to install. This, just for just in case you didn't know, um, these are all the things that come with your Sphere membership. And we're adding stuff in there every month. Um, but... The thing that I hadn't used before was this little feature right here. You see that? Backup and restore. That seems like a yawn feature, right? Like, oh, backup and restore. I just made myself yawn for real. Hold on. <sighs> but it's actually super, super helpful. So here's the story. I was working on a presentation that I had to do at, where was I going? Um, anyway, I had to go do a presentation on Studio One. And... The problem was I couldn't take my laptop with me. Um, it was spoken for somewhere else, and obviously I can't take, in my studio I've got this big 27-inch iMac, I can't lug that on the airplane and take it with me. So I had to use um, one of the Personas computers, like a stock Studio One laptop. Okay, um, So when I got to where I was going, there was a MacBook Pro waiting for me, but it didn't have any of my stuff on it. And that's not a huge problem, except what's great about Studio One is I'm able to customize it to my liking. So I've got a lot of macros, a lot of keyboard shortcuts, a lot of things that I've customized. Um, preferences, settings, there's a lot of things there. And instead of trying to build that from scratch, I just use this backup and restore feature. So a lot of people think of this as a way to back up my songs. And while it can do that, it backs it up to your Sphere membership so it's backed up off-site, which is always a great thing to do. But more than that, what really got me was the fact that it allows me to back up all of these things. So specifically, settings inside of Studio One. I've got settings set up a certain way. Um, all my plug-in thumbnails, my I.O. configurations, presets, that was a big one. Templates was a big one. All my macros was a big one. And then included in program settings would be things like my, like right here, my keyboard mapping scheme, all the different custom keyboard shortcuts that I've done. So here's how that works. I came here and I said, back up now. And so it took all of this and it backed it up. 12 megabyte file, so it's backing up all my settings for Studio One. And then on the new laptop that I had never touched before, I installed Studio One from my account inside of my.personas.com. And I came in here and I activated it, like I just showed you. I activated my Sphere account on that installation of Studio One. And then I came to this backup and restore. That's the wrong place. I came to backup and restore, and I chose the most recent backup that I had made and clicked restore. Next thing I know, you see how my screen looks right now, how it's got my picture, it's got my recent files list, everything like I'm used to seeing it. Now that laptop looked exactly like this. It had all the same recent files. And if I came into like keyboard shortcuts, you can see how my mapping scheme is heavily modified. All my different keyboard shortcuts, everything was there and I could get right back to work, pick up where I left off. All I had to do was take a hard drive with my songs on it so that I could plug that in, and then it already had them in the recent files list, and it was so smooth and seamless. I literally thought I was going to have to take a half a day setting up this new laptop. Turns out I didn't. It's just built right into Persona Sphere. So there you go. Not the most exciting feature in the history of audio programs, but it was super handy for me. If you find yourself working in your studio and then wanting to work elsewhere on something like a laptop, this is an easy way to keep things synchronized back and forth. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you haven't joined Persona's Sphere yet, there should be a link down below to give you information on how to do that. Thanks for watching. See ya.